I want a boat. What type of boat? A pontoon boat. I want a yacht. It doesn't matter. So create the life that you want in your mind. The reason why people never have what they want is they stop thinking about what they want. So we want to make sure our goals in all, are on all five formats, meaning every type of sense we have, audio, visual, everything. So the law of vibration states everything's moving, nothing stops moving. So everything's an energy. And so when we speak, you're feeling an energy coming to you. When you see me, energy. You touch something, energy. So the way that we have the most efficient response from our goals is we read them, speak them, write them, touch them, and everything. So you want to first think about your goals and write them down in written form. You hear people talk about this, write your goals down. What's happening is you're not just writing it down, you're focusing on it, but you're transferring energy from yourself as a store of energy. But that transference of energy, not to go into high level, just understand this is why it happens. We're we're not going to go into that high level stuff, but so I write them down and then I speak them into a recording, write all your best goals down, what you really want and be defined. Like you're like, I need to make money. You need to understand how our brains work. They're finite and they don't play with ranges. Meaning like if, if you said, Hey, I want to give you money or can you give me some money? How much? I want to make a lot of money. So if I gave you some money right now, it would help you out. Yeah. Here's a dollar. I just gave you a dollar. You said you need some money. You didn't specify how much money you want. So you need to have defined goals. You don't just show up in the future and hit what you want. So it's not, I just want a big house. You hear it all the time. I want to be a millionaire. Well, how many millions do you want? When do you want to be there? Do you want $1 million and one dollar? Do you want $5 million? So what I say is create your life and reverse engineer your life. So what I would do, and this is kind of a fun activity, thinks about the car you want and not just, hey, I want a Lambo. I want a purple Lambo. I want a red Lambo, green Lambo, yellow Lambo. I want one with this engine. I want this version. I want a boat. What type of boat? A pontoon boat. I want a yacht. It doesn't matter. So create the life that you want in your mind. The reason why people never have what they want is they stop thinking about what they want. So you cannot have anything in the world unless you see it in the mind first. If I'm going to have a painting, I can't just go paint a picture of a dog without seeing it in my mind, if that makes sense. It has to be seen first as a picture in the mind to be created in the physical world. You cannot just have a painting pop up on a piece of paper without seeing it visually in your mind's eye. So we want to think about what we want and we want to visualize it and it needs to be specific. So the type of house, how many rooms do you want a pool and you create your perfect life. Now we need to assign a dollar amount to that perfect life. So I'd go through the MLS and say, okay, this freaking house is the one I want. It's $2.72 million. Write it down. I want to have a freaking Range Rover, a G-Wagon. I want to freaking have all this stuff. That costs this. I want to have, you know, this watch, these clothes. I want to be able to eat this type of dinner. I want to have, instead of a $10 steak, $50 steak every night and calculate your total perfect life expense. And now that we have it, we know what we need to go get it. This could be 5.72 million. This could be 3.1 million with a hundred thousand dollar cash flow. This could be $500,000 net worth with a $10,000 a month cash flow. It doesn't matter. Everybody's goals are their goals. But until you define it, you will never have it. So think about the perfect life you want and come up with a dollar amount. This is just one of my vision boards, right? So, you know, I've got, you know, like the type of house and stuff that I want down here. So I don't just want a normal house. I want a big ass property that's a log cabin, but like a, a legit log cabin because I've been to a couple, if that makes sense. I've got the gym that I want to build. I've got the plane. I've got the trucks that I'm going to get. I've got the exact colors. I've got everything in my life that I want to have defined out. I'm not just saying it because I'm selling a book or course. I'm telling you what I do and that this is how I got here. But it's not just I want a house that's 4,000 square feet. What type of house? Do I want a three-story house that's 4,000 or do I want a one-story house? You cannot have the thing that you want unless you think about it constantly and visualize it. So now the next step is now speaker goals into affirmations. So I would speak, once I have my goals written down, I now speak them into an affirmation recording. And I'd play this every day in the morning and the evening. My voice resonating to me. And I used to sometimes even put it on loop in light mode where it's not gonna keep me, where it's not gonna wake me up, but I'd almost, because your subconscious mind never turns off even though your conscious mind does when you're sleeping. And I would just let it play all night. And I was literally in my in my mind, I was like, I'm going to brainwash the brainwashing that I've already had done to me. Teachers, negativity, people tell me, you're never gonna go build a business, just go get a job. My government telling me I'm a piece of shit. Everybody telling me I'm gonna fail my whole life. That's what's happened. So you need to understand what's happened to you. It's not a problem with you. It's a problem with what you're involved in in the system. So you need to reprogram the bullshit, if that makes sense. And so I saw it as I'm fighting evil. I'm fighting the people that want to ruin me, I'm going to reprogram myself and I'm going to fight them. And I played it through the night because it's more hours. And if it's not going to, I would do that. But if it's waking you up, I wouldn't do it. If that makes sense. If it's hurting your sleep schedule and doing that, but some people can sleep through it. Now you got a whole night of brainwashing yourself for positivity, not negativity. And you can't watch TV 12 hours or eight hours a night. Now, this is the big one that people don't understand. Have you ever heard the term smell the leather? I want you to go in front of everything you want. I want you to go test drive the car that you want. I want you to drive that motherfucker. I want you to go find the house you want and 
on the MLS and go drive up to it and take a picture of yourself and put yourself in front of that house. I know this to a lot of people, it kind of seems like woo woo and wish wash. This is how our brains work. We create a picture that we hold in our mind and we move towards it with our energy. So you hear the law of attraction, the way it's being taught is bullshit, but the law of attraction is hundred percent real. And it's not that you can just think about something. It's you have to think about it and move towards it with energy. So if I sit in a room, if I just sit here and hold a check in my hand and say, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire. If I never do anything, I'm not just going to become a millionaire. But the law of attraction is, is what we focus on, we expand. So if I'm thinking about golf all the time, I'm going to go play golf and not baseball. If I'm thinking about agent attraction all the time, I'm going to probably attract agents. But if I'm thinking about how to, you know, sell insurance, I'm probably going to sell insurance. So what we think on and we focus on and then we move our physical body towards comes to us because we're actually moving towards it, but it feels like it's being attracted towards us, but it's not the law of attraction. It's really should be the law of forward motion off of focus. It's just not understood very well.